We begin with the part one, the MCQ part of the EOT for grade 11 advance. Please note that in this part, I will just do the shortcuts and direct methods. For the detailed methods, please go to the playlist and the entire lesson explanations are available. The first question is to use trigonometric identities to simplify expressions. Here we have various trigonometric identities. Uh, here we can see various trigonometric expressions and how do we get the correct answer? The easiest way is from the calculator. Now I have typed the first equation over here. It's just 1 minus sine. See whenever it is sine square, you have to write sine alpha x and square it outside. If this theta was squared, then you have to square it inside the bracket. This is the square to the theta. But here, if you put it outside, this is equivalent to this. You can also use the brackets if you want. The brackets would be from the sine function till over here. The entire thing is squared. It's one and the same with or without brackets, but square it outside the x bracket. Now here, what you need to do is put some random x value. Shift mode 4. This is in radian mode now. Please convert it to radian mode. Press calc and now you can put... 1.5, I'll just put 1.5 and see what's the answer. Now here the answer is 5.02 and it's a very small number. That doesn't matter. You should just write it down somewhere and then you will have four options, isn't it? Please remember the calculated value. I used 1.5. I need to use 1.5 over here and I have to get the same answer. So it'll be 1. Now I'd press on. Caught is by 1 by tan alpha x squared and now calculate at 1.5 itself. You can just press equal to we are getting the same answer. Only one particular option will give you the same answer. All the others has to give you different because if there are same that means you have two correct answers. You will have all the other options giving you different value other than this value. So we can try it for any other thing. You can over here also. Let me do this one because it's having cosecant and cotangent. So let's type it out. 2, open the bracket. Cosecant is given by 1 by sine. So here, alpha x, close the bracket and square it up. Now this is practically cosecant itself, 1 by sine. Minus 1 divided by cotangent, alpha x, sorry, my bad. Cotangent reciprocal is 1 by tan. So I write tan, alpha x, close the bracket and square it up and now close the entire bracket. Now let's choose uh, x value. I'll just choose 1.5. Sometimes if you get error, make sure you choose another value, okay? Sometimes if it's undefined, if sine over here you have taken 0 is 0, right? Then 1 by 0 is undefined. So avoid 0. Take values like 1.5 or something. I generally take 1.5, 2.5 like that. The answer is 2, direct. Uh, this is it. Now even over here, if you put any x value, you'll directly get 1 because it'll approximate it to 1 directly. So that's the answer. But whereas imagine you had this as the answer. Then you need to put 1 by cos and put the calculate at the same value and then verify both must be same. So this is how we can do it. Now what about these? I'll do the last one as well. See so here you can just do 2 minus 2 sine alpha x close the bracket squared and I'll calculate it at 1.5. It's this 0 0.01000. Now here we have cos squared, 2 cos squared theta. So let's put 2 cos alpha x close the bracket squared. That's the thing. And now calculate at the same value. I just press directly equal to. That's matching. So only one answer will match, all the others will not. So this is your correct answer. That's how easily you can solve this particular topic. That's how easily you can solve this topic. If you have any doubts, post them in the comments and I'll try to get back to you very soon.